Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you that I created the second one. Uh, I use straw, both clays, and I use a cardboard instead of a block. And it's ready to rain on me, so we'll cover these up. But I wanted to show you this before it start raining and I have to cover it. I just use pine needles, straw, I put a cardboard basin, and I just packed the mug around. You notice it's bigger because it was easy to make with the straw. And this one over here just has a block. And I was ready to show you the uh, fire, st the rocket stove with concrete bricks, but it starts to rain on my ass. So we'll cover these up so that I can dry them out. Uh, I'm gonna see if I put these bricks out here at the sandy little beach and I'll show you the results after I'm done. There's like four types of rocket stove I like to create. So tune in to the next little video, mama. Well, I'm Ranger Kiki. And the other day I was trying to pull out the plugs out the, uh, the, uh, the uh, my rocket stoves. And I noticed the clay is still wet. But hey, I must show you uh, the other subject of rocket stoves. Come on with me over here. Now, the rocket stoves we use with concrete bricks. There's three types you can make. And I want to show you how to make them. Both. All three sets use four uh, concrete blocks. And no, these are not ready to be used because I have to break the brick. But I'm going to show you how to make them. Okay. You need the first block with the holes on the side. The second block in front of it. The third block in front of this. See, I need the. Uh, I need to take out this whole wall to make this work. So uh, you're not seeing me. There you go. You were seeing me. You're watching me. All right. So to make this this way work, I have to take out this. Then after I take this out, I place it against the wall. So now I put firewood in this hole goes through into this one and it goes up into my cooking area now if you got an old stove around your house no gas burners with the little things on top you can put that right on top This is what I'm talking about right here. If you have one of these around your house, or you can use the old steel. Put that right on top. Put your pan on top of it, and you've got a stove. All right, the second method of making a, um, this is only one furnace. The way this is made, it was only made for one furnace. Unless you take another block and put it over here and do the same thing, knock out this. So basically you need a H, an H concrete block, which I don't think they make, to uh, put it right here. So you can have both sides going. So I, yeah, I can cook them both sides. Now here's the second method. Now this is a two automatic, a two cooker burner. But you gotta take out this wall here. You gotta take out this wall in the middle. Because this is where you're gonna put your firewood. Okay? So you place your two blocks on the ground. 
You knock out this wall. You place one here. Now you feed it here and it feeds your cone and it goes up to this. So you have to knock out this wall and you have two furnaces, uh, two, fur, uh, two stacks to uh, do your fire. All right, now the last one, you need to move over so you can see. Now the last one, it's the same purpose as this one, but this one's higher, this one's lower. So you need three blocks for this stove. You need to knock out this wall and you're gonna put your fire into this slot here. And you're gonna have your furnace up here. So you put your wood here and your furnace is, is right here. This is the three steps. The one over here at the end uses only three blocks. You can only knock out, you can knock out only one wall. Less work. Then you have this one, which you only have to knock out these two walls right here. And you got the first one. You just have to knock out this hole here on this block here. Because that's where you're going to put your firewood. It's a little higher. Instead of stooping down and hurting yourself, you can sit up a little bit or put your furnace here. Now, as you my subscribers, if you want to see me light one up, I'll break the block and show you how these things work. But it's mostly showed you how to build them. My clay, clay fire stoves are still wet as hell. I tried to pull the block out a little while ago. Come take a look at it, it like rain cats and dogs yesterday. I was making a video, you see it on this one. Explaining something I want to do on that, but it rains so the water. Damn you, boy! And I covered it with this old tent that I found in the woods. I found so much stuff in the woods. This is just a little, little kid's tent that I found. It's good for the tarp and the cubby, but my, um, my clay is still wet as hell. And I'm trying to pull these blocks out without no problem. Let's see if I can or not. There you go, that's one. Came out pretty good. I put oil on it. If you don't put that oil on your uh, pipe, on your uh, board, it's not going to come out right. It's to get into your uh, thing. I'm not going to pull this one out. I know it's going to cave in. So I'm going to leave that until it dries up a little bit more. Let's see if I can pull the cord board out. Now I can always cut that. It's this cord board. Hey, you're not watching. Come up here and watch. I'm teaching you and you don't want to watch. Damn you. All right. Came out pretty good too. And I put oil on the cord board also. Now I know it's gonna cave in. I, I'm just gonna let the pipe sit there. But if it gets more air in there, now I need to I need to get a shovel. Oh well. Now It's really wet in there. And I didn't have a board for this one, so I got this weird pyramid shape thing. And I got a square for the block. Now, I can always keep this for more of these later on. I can bring it in the woods. And I wonder if I could just pull this out.
No, nah, I'm gonna leave it. It looks like it needs to dry out some more. That one's perfect. So that's almost done. I'm gonna see if I have to bake it to make it hard and dry it out faster. I would, I put wood over it and bake it and it becomes solid. That one needs to be fixed. It's, it needs to be higher one side. So I kind of screwed it up. Should have made it all the way to the same height. And what I did, I got a trough. You can use a wheelbarrow. You're making cement, basically. I put straw in this one. Regular pine needles. Mixed it up with water, gravel. I mean, not gravel. Water, sand, and pine needles. And I got that. And this one's just plain clay with no pine needles. I don't know which one's going to be the best. Maybe this big, thick one because it's thick. I don't know. But I tried it. I'm going to do it in the test. I can pull, I know I can pull this one out. Let's see if I can pull this one out. Perfect. Now, I think this one's not going to work well because it's so thin. But this one's a big, thick block. All right. I hope the sun dry it out more. Well, let's take a look in there real quick show you what we got inside and this one looks better I made it better it was all one side one side one side one thickness and this one I screwed up I should make this same height as this so I probably have to add more clay or cut it out and make it even so I got choices uh, hmm. choose to uh, maybe take some out or even it out some and you see the straw in my clay pottery You see the straw in it. I think it helped out to uh, give it more girth. Now, I need a quick tool to shape it up. Yeah. I wonder if I can bake in them. <laughs> this one's not flat enough. There you go. There you go. I'm not worried about the cardboard basin because it could burn. Ugh. Maybe I made a mistake by making it the thickness here. Might be too thick. I should have made a shower maybe because now the stuff sticks way in there to light it and get it going this one I love this one I wish I just made that you know the square block over here maybe I can cut it take that block and push it in there or something 
I'll open it up to make it square. Remember, this is my trial and error. This is, I really didn't know how it will come out, but I knew how to build the things. It's like making sculpture. You know how I make sculpture with clay? You should be able to build one of these things. I think that's it. I'm going ahead and let y'all go. It's been too many minutes. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoy uh, the fire stoves I'm building right here. I'm gonna let if it gets later on this evening, I'll cover it up so it won't get wet, so it dry out, and show you these uh, rocket stoves made out of concrete bricks. If you don't have four, you can use three. You just have to break out this wall, this one, you have to just break out this wall and this wall, and you have two. This one, you just have to break out that wall, and you have this one. But if you can put another brick over here, you have to break out this wall and put another furnace right there. All right, I think I teach you, I teach you the basis of a fire stove or a clay rocket stove. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. Now see you next video. Woo -woo!